Hi, I'm Wolf Weigel. Hi, I'm Brad Schumacher. And this is your tip of the week. Teaching the egg beater kick to beginners. It's very important to start with the base position of a general breaststroke kick. I like to do this with the kids floating on a ball in a vertical position. Most kids grow up and learn to, to kick and swim breaststroke early on. So this skill is easy to learn. So once they have the breaststroke kick down, I'll then turn and rotate their hips up, continuing with the breaststroke kick. Once that's completely together and they have a perfect breaststroke kick and they're finishing their kick all the way down and to my ankles, then I'll move to, to an egg beater. Keys here, big toe to my shin, big toe to my shin, feet turned out like a duck. Left, right, left, right. Now, as the athlete progresses and they start to get a feel for the water, you can really start to talk to them about having their inner side of their foot sweep in so that they can really start feeling the water on the sides and top of their feet. The final thing to talk to the kids about is the frequency. We have fast legs, okay, which get us prepared to move at any time and we'll always be ready to, re to respond to any sort of situation. Water polo happens in many different phases. There's not just one movement, it's just three, four, five part movements. So the frequency is how fast my legs are going. I slow them down when I'm on defense, I'm in, in a control position. I speed them up when I'm trying to react, block, shot block, whatever, get up higher in the water. So one thing to really focus on is your flexibility and range of motion. A lot of times you'll see uh, players, either goalkeepers or field players that have trouble jumping out of the water. Their, their knees are really narrow. They're not really flexing their leg out and getting a lot of motion with their legs. So what I mean by that is really tight knees. You're not pushing much water down. You're pushing water down with the bottom of your heel. If you can really spread your leg, get as much of the um, water being pushed with the inside of your leg, inside of your calf, really stretch out your legs, you're going to get a lot more pull and a lot more explosion. So you can see the difference here. My legs are wide and if I bring it in really tight, knees close, I'm not getting that, that much motion. That's a lot of times you'll see a goalkeeper who's maybe 5'10 or 6 feet who's really explosive and getting the corners yeah, as well or better than a 6'4, six, 6'5 six, goalie. Odds are they've got really great technique. So one thing to think about the egg beater, just like when you're doing swimming and a swim stroke and thinking of swim technique, it's the same thing underwater with the egg beater. There's a technique to it. You're not just randomly kicking your legs. You're working and you're focusing on pulling a lot of water just like you'd pull a lot of water with a stroke in swimming. So really think about it the next time you get in the pool and try and improve it.